Hi Leos, it's Elle here to do your mid-September general reading. Um, it's a general reading, so of course it will not resonate with every Leo out there in the land. <laughs> but if it does resonate with you, go ahead, like, share, comment, subscribe. Definitely share the video with your other Leo friends or whomever. We're going to do something different. We're going to start with the Angel Oracle cards. Let's see what the Angel Oracle cards have to say. Angel Answers. Angel Answer Oracle card. So if you have questions out there, go ahead. Formulate your questions. Here are your answers by way of the angels. Damn. What are the messages for you? Alright, your card being stubborn. These cards must got some Leo in them. Alright. Oh, okay, the bottom of the deck, no. So whatever, if you got a yes or no question the answer is no let's see within the next few weeks so we have a timeline success nice if you believe forgiveness okay all right so let's let's open this up let's see what this is all about so what is happening let's ask spirit what's happening in the next few weeks okay Within the next few weeks, within the next few weeks, what's happening within the next few weeks? Eight of Swords. Maybe the the fit the. the mm, some of y'all going to jail within the next few weeks. Feel constrained rehab. You might be in a bind. Let me give it one more card. One more card. <laughs> Positive energy. Ooh. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Might be some legal problems here. Legal issues. This might feel stuck. Yeah, you have to do verbal battle for maybe your freedom. Because you feel stuck maybe within a the confines of a contract, actual real confines. Um, you might even have to battle yourself. You have to go deep within yourself. And uh, wow, it, this is a personal reading right here. Anyway, success. Success for my Leo. What is this about? My gosh. Oh. All right, so Leo, it looks like right now, I'm going to put the cards down. We're going to just have us a little talk. Um, Y'all have to do some work. And, it, and, it, and it's not even anything that uh, any of us can stray away from. At times in our lives, we have to actually do the freaking freaking work. And it's tough. And it puts us in places where we feel restrained or there are restraints or, or, or constraints on us for some reason. There might be some legal issues. You have success, but not before you what you think you've built on um, some solid ground comes tumbling down so that, you know, the universe can help you build it back up in the manner that it's supposed to be built up on. The moon, yeah. It's like some of you are doing some inner work, some mental work, mental and emotional, real work on self. Um, getting to the root of maybe even mental issues. Some of you might even be having a mental breakdown. But it's successful in the sense of you get to the root of issues. Let's see. Yeah. Going deep. You know, really exploring the reasons why and having that higher knowledge of firstly self, 
the world, the inner workings of, you fill in the blank. Man, wow, Leo is going deep, deep, like. This is good, though. This is good. After this, can't nobody tell you nothing about you, especially. If you believe. What is if you believe about? Wow. Queen of Pentacles. You, you can be abundant. You can make solid and clear decisions. You can be systematic and routine. Wow. Okay. You can be a wife or a husband. If you believe three of so, Lord, um, let me just pick another card. Oh. <laughs> uh, what is going on? If you believe, you can't achieve. No, if you believe, um, Some of you, your, your issues may be legal, maybe in regards to um, divorce and or separation. You might have to confront. If you believe you can get, if you believe, some of you are dealing with air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um... Some of you going deep within yourself. Some of you, let's just talk surface stuff. Some of you within the next few weeks, somebody finds out um, maybe about a third party. It shifts the energy completely. You were in a situation where you felt like you couldn't get out, but here is your way out. If you believe you can depart from maybe being someone's wife or husband, maybe some air sign who you weren't 100% vested in in the first place or vested in the relationship you may have to ask for forgiveness here and those of you who are doing the work on self or you've come to this great awareness within self about self about issues you need to forgive self first and then you might need to go and uh, grant forgiveness um this came in the reverse, but I want to say it's upright. After the Three of Swords, you can go to the Four of Swords. You can lay down the burden of uh, and the, the fight and the hurt and the pain. Um, recover from the hurt and the pain. And forgive self and then others. And this is you, Leo, the strength card have the courage to withdraw from the fight by way of no longer fighting so, so for some of you your lies and your underhandedness has been exposed you may be going through a divorce or you actually need to heal from the hurt that maybe a Virgo Capricorn Taurus took you through. You need to either ask for forgiveness or you need to give forgiveness. What is this all about? My gosh, my Leos are having a tough time. From the past, looking back at what you invested in, where you put your time, energy, effort in, and it and it <clears throat> it yielded you nothing but betrayal and feeling backstabbed and and um, backed into a corner. The decision to to heal is all yours. It's here for you. Something has come out. I mean, there's so many different scenarios within this reading. You have to get a personal reading. Um, what is the no? the no answer about no five of pentacle six of pentacle 
Nine of Wands. The Lovers. Then the Two of Swords. Um, so what this says is Five and Six of Pentacles. There is progression by way of someone feeling like they were left out. Feeling like there wasn't a lot of... Um, energy invested in a relationship whatever type of relationship business romantic family um, feeling like they did all the work in a situation or they were the ones that's trying to keep it alive and it was so easy for the other person to walk away from what was burdensome and make the choice to walk away or this was you leo you said I can no longer do this, so I made the choice to walk away. There's a choice here, and you get another two card. Do I decide to keep investing in something that I'm not 100% invested in anyhow that I am okay with walking away from? The answer is no. Short and sweet. Okay, let's get some butterfly oracle cards in. What should Leo be? Now, that's for you, Leo, or that's for somebody dealing with you, maybe. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or Gemini, any air sign. Um, all I'm hearing is I tried. I tried. If, if that goes for you or someone else, Leo. Okay. Bottom of the deck, finances. Some of you are in a fight about finances too. Waiting for a decision. Some of you, you're in like a karmic situation or a situation where you need to learn something here about giving and receiving. Being a taker and a giver. Which one are you? Mm, you can get a personal reading. Realizations and epiphanies. Wow, nothing but that here. Uh, self care. Decisions, family changes, someone entering, exiting a home, moving, new baby, new dog, new new home. Um, it's family changes could be anything. Decisions, and we see that here. Deciding, do I keep investing in something that is just not yielding me what I want, what I think I deserve? Care for self, put self first. Realizations and epiphanies. Finances are highlighted. Either they're good or they're bad here. Okay. Uh, Leo, request a personal reading. Take advantage of the yes or no spread. Um, it's a $10 spread. Yes or no. One yes or no question. Um, yeah. That's good. Let's do a yes or no spread for Leo. A sample. Will Leo come out of this tumultuous situation uh, soon? Will they come out of their problems soon and successful soon and successful we'll come out of problems soon and successful thank you thank you
Okay. Okay. <coughs> All right. Cards jumping, jumping. Okay. Yes. Three of Wands upright. Um, and you're you're waiting for the perfect time and the, the opportunity to move forward to rebuild. The next card will be the Four of Wands. The Ten of Wands in reverse. Some of you are kind of refusing to lay the burden down. Um, or some of you dropped the burden. Let's see. Ten of Swords in reverse. You're com coming into healing. Some of you doing the work. You get it now. Oh, and then here's you, the Strength card. All right. Beautiful. So, Leo, there was the icing on the dang on cake. This is the drama. I ain't gonna lie. This whole reading was just like, what? But you're coming out of it. And you're coming out, in, you know, victorious with strength. Nice. Do the work, Leo. Whatever you gotta do. It looks beautiful. You'll never have to come back here. There are people who run from this type of work and then they end up in the same old dark night of the soul the, the following year. And it's like, well, you just go ahead and go through the drama that you gotta go through anyhow if you need a personal reading uh, all of my information is below I hope that this reading really really gave somebody some clarity about their situation about what's going on um, I'm praying for you Leo pray for me as well take advantage of the yes or no spread um, all right bye for now